Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Morning, John. How are you? Hey, Art. Doing great. Uh, right in the middle of uh, shopping season for uh, Christmas and the holidays. Oh, and, it, uh, it is the season, tis, tis, isn't it? It is. Now, uh, you guys celebrating Hanukkah. Right. We're ready to... Tonight we're is, in the middle, we're tonight in the is the last right. night of Hanukkah, right? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tonight is last night of Hanukkah. Uh, did you buy gifts for the grandchildren every... All the grandchildren? You have grandchildren that are, like I do, that are over 20. Yeah, well, I have like a 20, uh, in the high 20s, uh, uh, 20. Down and, to what? And, Four? Uh, no, six and eight. Uh, you, <laughs> you see, even you haven't been paying attention. They really <laughs> they grow up kind of quickly. They do, yeah. yeah. Well, well I'm, a, I'm, I'm in about the same boat. I think your granddaughter, your, your oldest grandchild is much older than my oldest, but they're in their 20s, and the youngest is eight, I think. Yeah. Our our youngest is eight. So I got nine grandkids. Mm. And uh, over the years, what we started doing is just not buying gifts, really, when they get to a certain age. It was kind of like, I don't think we ever thought about it. It just it didn't make sense to give a gift, uh, you know, a big gift to uh, a 14-year-old. Right. So the little kids get the gifts. Yeah, well, the big kids get a big hug. So I, actually, I guess um, we stopped uh, going out and, and getting a, a traditional gift that you wrap in a package uh, for the older ones who are now uh, going to be 20, actually, uh, uh, this week and 27. Uh, but we do actually do get them something nominal, whether it's a, 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 a card for, uh, a, you know, Apple Music or, you know, 25 right. bucks. Gift or something, just because they, they are our grand, and we have less than yours, so we we can actually remember all their names and where they live. <laughs> but uh, not, we get them, quite that bad. We get them something nominal that is a sort of a meaningful gift, but it's not on a grander yeah. scale it used to be. But we have a, a, a six and eight year old, and we get them a more a traditional, uh, bigger gift, a more a more substantial gift. Um, uh, and see that they get this wrapped up and they get it, you know, in sure. person and that kind of thing. Although that's changed a little bit also uh, uh, because uh, right now we order everything from Amazon and if they didn't live nearby, we would have had it sent to their house with a gift wrap and a gift card. But what we yeah. did was we, we, took, we, we had a bunch of little trinkets, but uh, mainly one or two main gifts for the kids. And we drove by the house and had their folks pull it out of the house and put it in the garage. And then they could give it to them on various nights. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but we stopped with any major gift giving. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, probably by the time they get to uh, out of high school. That's, yeah. That's sort of like the time that uh, it, it was no longer. Because they're not coming over with a wide-eyed wonder of, of, of celebrating as a family. Uh, right. Although we, we, did, well, we did several uh, Hanukkah parties uh, this time on Zoom. So, uh, oh, that's good. Uh, we had uh, several good. nights, not all eight nights, but uh, several nights. What about yeah. you? So, uh, what what is your routine now? Um, well, yeah, first of all, shopping online. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's not that we are afraid to go to the store. It's just that everything's online, you know, mm -hmm. and it's all returnable. And uh, it, it you, even if we go to a store, we will go online to look at their website ahead of time to see what, if they've got what we're what, what mm -hmm. we're looking for. Right. Um, and the younger kids, it's, uh, it's really the toys. I, I, somehow there's a demarcation between kids who are still interested in toys, the traditional toys, whatever that is. And then when they hit teenage years, whatever it is, might be 14, uh, they're interested in electronics. You need a new Game Boy. Uh, one grandson has just got a guitar. Uh, that's a different level of gift giving, I think. You know, mm -hmm. they're more adult. You know what? It's the kids who sit at the adult table at Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. They lose out. They don't get the gifts anymore. Right. And, and, <laughs> and so for for that privilege uh, that they desperately want, they lose out on what was yeah. really important, which was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're an adult right. now? Hey. By the way, you talk about tradition. Suck it up. You don't get any gifts. So we, we, to our, uh, our six-year-old granddaughter, uh, in addition to one or two other things that we got for the kids jointly, like an exercise mat, because they're at home yeah. all the time, and 
uh, they can do tumbling. We got her an American Girl, which is a, a truly a traditional a, a uh, classic. A yeah. classic. And yeah. for uh, our grandson Madden, what better to get him than the PlayStation uh, game of Madden, Madden Football? Oh. So he, 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 was, he was so happy to get a present that was him. He said, yeah. you, you got me, me. He was thrilled. Yeah. And he likes the game. So, But it, now he has the PlayStation version of it, which has all the bells and whistles as opposed to the uh, fractured games that he was playing versions on uh, yeah. an iPhone or something. So yeah. they, they, no, they, got, they got pretty much got, for them, traditional toys. Yeah. As, as we got older... Uh, we stopped decorating our house. You know, kids were all grown. They've got their own kids right. and grandkids. We stopped decorating our house to any great degree. We put uh, some lights on the porch or something like right. that and haven't bought a tree. The last tree we had was uh, 15 years ago. What about a fake tree? Did you have a fake tree? Yeah, it was the end of a... Uh, well, you moved to California, you know. Uh, you want to pay 100 bucks for a five-foot tree in your house. <laughs> right. You could do that. So uh, we had the last tree we had was a, we had it for about ten years and it was a uh, artificial tree mm -hmm. and it was very nice but you know it doesn't last forever. When that went, we said, well, you know, what do we need? I remember my grandmother, and this is in the 1950s. My grandmother would get a little tree, tabletop tree, um, and they were in their 70s or 80s. And uh, by the way, t speaking of grandmothers in their 70s and her 80s. People in their 70s today are much younger than my grandmother in her 70s. And, I mean, and, and they were just old ladies. And they're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> like, hello, yeah. hello, 70 something year old guy. Yeah. 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 So, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the, yeah, things change as you get older, I think. Yeah. You know, the, your gift giving changes, your uh, decorating stuff changes. You don't go quite so crazy. Although there's always a, that guy who has to put a light on every square inch of his house. Right. Now that, the, that's the guy <laughs> who has the Geico commercial. Yeah. 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 You know, it's kind of interesting. When I was growing up um, uh, in the neighborhood we lived in, we had a, actually a pretty big lot. and We had a large front yard, which they had back in the day. They wasted money on a, a front yard that nobody could use. But there was this huge uh, to all accounts, Christmas tree that must have been about uh, 20 or 30 feet tall by the time we moved. And it's a shame we weren't, uh, we didn't celebrate Christmas because it would have been the perfect tree to decorate yeah. on the outside. Uh, so yeah. you don't do it. It was there that. every, it was in the ground. It was there every right. year. Now you, yeah. li you live, uh, you live uh, right uh, next door to your three Youngest, or just about, I know. My three youngest, yeah. Three youngest. Okay, yeah. So you're probably still celebrating. Uh, and that's coming up uh, in a couple of days. So have you finished your shopping? Um, no, we'll be shopping up to the last minute, I think. Okay. Up, up to the last, next week, we'll wrap it up. Do me a, fa know, do me a favor, John, because I know I've met them and they're really a wonderful family and great kids. Don't buy the oldest boy a tie. Don't. <laughs> okay, and the second oldest a fountain pen. I promise. Please. I promise. Yeah. Because I know that that you've got a whole drawer full of them that you've been getting over the years for the other old <laughs> the grandchildren. It, don't we gift them? It's not when was the last time you wore a tie? Um, I can't remember. And no, it was well well before the pandemic. In other words, we oh yeah we, we preceded not wearing ties uh, years ago. You know, actually, for the last uh, ten years, maybe I wore it once to a funeral or something uh, because yeah. uh, well, you and I have been doing production work together for what, 10 years here or and there more. and running meetings and things like that. We, I don't ever remember seeing each one another in a tie on any yeah. activity. No. And even for a, a business meeting at a studio or, a, you know, a client or something like that. And particularly in Southern California, the, the style for business casual or whatever they call that um, did not require a tie for right. 20 years. Yep. True. 20 years or more. You know. Okay. So, all right. Well, that's it. That, well, just happy, a little bit of happy Hanukkah. So, so remember uh, Santa's helper. Uh, yes. They're named the Amazonians. <laughs> and 
uh, by, by the way, uh, uh, oh, I don't know whether you know, John, right around the corner, because you used to live down uh, by me, or up by me, I guess, yeah. from where yeah. you are now. And uh, uh, there was a, a Unisys headquarters or, or, or regional headquarters. I remember where it was. That is now a prime Amazon Prime distribution center. Makes sense. And uh, I, well, Makes I don't sense. go out very early in the morning. I went to a doctor's appointment the other day, and there were these stream of these uh, 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 Mercedes Benz trucks. You know the big. Oh yeah, uh, the little white trucks. The, yeah. yeah. Well, no, the, the the blue ones with a smile on them, and a hundred wannabe Dodge Rams and Ford version of them, and they come out. Yeah. It's like a, a swarm of locusts. Uh, yeah. Coming out to the neighborhood and. Uh, uh, so anyway, they're they're doing quite well. I, in fact, we have a neighbor who just got uh, seasonal work there, and they pay oh, very, good. and they pay very well. So anyway, uh, however good. you're doing it, uh, Merry Christmas, John. I, I'll do. Thank you. I'll, I'll remember to do that even more strongly next week because it'll be towards the night before Christmas. That's right. And yeah. all through the house, they're watching our vlog. <laughs> it'll be good. True. I'll see you then. Okay. We'll talk then next week. Okay. Anyway, have a great uh, a great week of shopping. I know that uh, you'll be out there. Just uh, thank you. No, I'll be here on my computer shopping. Right. So get the, that plastic <laughs> ready. <laughs> All right. Take care. And to everybody out there, have a, a very happy uh, end of Hanukkah and uh, uh, Christmas season. And a merry pre Christmas. A merry pre Christmas. A prequel. <laughs> prequel. Prequel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See you guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.